Hi there. In my last postmortem video, Nicholas asked, how do you manage the physics of the arrow? I tried to do an arrow physics prototype some time ago, but I really struggled making the arrow stable and pseudo-realistic. Thanks for your question, Nicholas. This quick tip video will show just that. If you like, you can skip straight to the source code in the description below. Let's go over the arrow scene. To detect collision, I had an Area 2D as the parent node, with a triangle collision shape as its child. The important thing in this scene is where the origin is. It should be where the object rotates about in real life. For an arrow, the heaviest point is going to be the metal tip, so I've made sure the sprite is offset such that the point is at 0, 0 in the scene. If I change the value of the rotation, the arrow should look something like this as it spins. The arrow should also point to the right. This is important when we calculate the rotation of the moving arrow. Moving into the arrow script, we can see that the arrow has a mass, a variable which tracks whether the arrow has been launched, and a velocity. The launch function is used to enable change in the position and rotation, and also sets the initial velocity. When the arrow is launched, the velocity's y value slowly increases as it's affected by gravity in the process function. This function is called every frame. You can see I've changed the gravity of the area 2D to be 9.8, rather than the default 98, and the gravity vector points down by default. This change in velocity is added to the position. The higher the mass, the faster the arrow falls. Delta is the time between the current frame and the last one. Using it allows the movement to be frame rate independent. The rotation is calculated by a built-in vector2 function, angle. If we hold control and click it, we can see the description. It calculates the angle between a vector and the vector 1, 0. This is why it's important for the arrow to point in this direction in its scene. In the arrow test scene, I've set up a button that resets the scene. When the scene is started, the arrow is told to launch in a random direction across the screen. You can play with the mass of the arrow and the strength of the initial velocity to see how the arrow moves. Just some notes, I've set the window size to be relatively small, at 256 by 128 pixels, and scaled the window resolution up. It's not important to the method, I just like working in smaller spaces, but if you're working in a bigger space, you may need to adjust some values to suit that. Thanks for watching, I hope this video was helpful in some way. Feel free to like or dislike the video, and if you have any other questions, please comment below. Cheers!